Okay, wait for it. Okay, let's not do anything. Let's hope and pray this works. Oh, this might be the winning attempt. Come on, please. Hey guys and welcome back to another video and today we will be celebrating the 10th anniversary of Five Nights at Freddy's. I'm just going to do a playthrough from start to finish. I might try and beat uh, 420 mode as well but man I can't believe it's been 10 years. I was in high school at that point. Help wanted. Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Family Pizzeria looking for security guard. Well I can't read all that. I guess my character's not interested in that. Let's go. It was a bit of a pain setting this up. So, oh my gosh. Already I can feel the... I, I feel the dread. <laughs> Another thing as well. Uh, this phone call that you're about to hear is three minutes long. I'm not going to talk over it in honour of Scott Cawthon. So here you go. Hello. Hello. Uh, I wanted to record a message for you. To help you get settled in on your first night. Um, I actually worked in that office before you. I'm finishing up my last week now, as a matter of fact. So, I know it can be a bit overwhelming, but I'm here to tell you there's nothing to worry about. Uh, you'll be fine. So, let's just focus on getting you through your first week, okay? Uh, let's see. First, there's an introductory greeting from the company that I'm supposed to read. It's kind of a legal thing, you know. Um, welcome to Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, a magical place for kids and grown-ups alike, where fantasy and fun come to life. Fazbear Entertainment is not responsible for damage to property or a person. Upon discovering that damage or death has occurred, a missing person report will be filed within 90 days or as soon as property and premises have been thoroughly cleaned and bleached and the carpets have been replaced. Blah, blah, blah. Now, that might sound bad, I know, but there's really nothing to worry about. Uh, the animatronic characters here do get a bit quirky at night, but do I blame them? No. If I were forced to sing those same stupid songs for 20 years and I never got a bath, I'd probably be a bit irritable at night, too. So remember, these characters hold a special place in the hearts of children, and we need to show them a little respect. Right? Okay. So just be aware, the characters do tend to wander a bit. Uh, they're left in some kind of free roaming mode at night. Uh, something about their servos locking up if they get turned off for too long. Uh, they used to be allowed to walk around during the day, too. But then there was the bite of 87. Yeah. It's amazing that the human body can live without the frontal lobe, you know? Uh, now, concerning your safety, the only real risk to you as a night watchman here, if any, is the fact that these characters, uh, if they happen to see you after hours, probably won't recognize you as a person. They'll, they'll most likely see you as a metal endoskeleton without its costume on. Now, since that's against the rules here at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, they'll probably try to forcefully stuff you inside a Freddy Fazbear suit. Um, now, that wouldn't be so bad if the suits themselves weren't filled with cross beams, wires, and animatronic devices, especially around the facial area. So you can imagine how having your head forcefully pressed inside one of those could cause a bit of discomfort and death. Uh, the only parts of you that would likely see the light of day again would be your eyeballs and teeth when they pop out the front of the mask. <laughs> yeah, they don't tell you these things when you sign up. But hey, first day should be a breeze. I'll chat with you tomorrow. Uh, check those cameras, and remember to close the doors only if absolutely necessary. That's the power. Alright, good night. Whoa. Well, there you go. That was like three minutes of Scott Cawthon for you. <laughs> oh. Just, as soon as I got in, my heart is absolutely pounding. Like, have you ever seen those cartoons with the characters and their heart goes up to their mouth? That's what I feel like right now. Holy moly. I forgot how scary this game was. Like, a lot of people think, oh, FNAF is just all about jump scares, cheap jump scares, but no, I, I reckon, especially the first game, it has very, very good tension. And you are sitting in a tiny office down the bottom here, and you can't really just 
move around or run. All you can do is turn on lights, uh, close doors and check the cameras for anything out to get you. Um, <laughs> and with that being said you can also boop the nose. Oh, Apparently uh, one of Scott, Scott's kids I think suggested that and he decided to put it in the game. How cool is that? Oh, I'm just making sure there's nothing coming after me. See, we're, we're all the way down here, obviously, and we don't want anything coming... What was that noise? Coming down the hall. Okay. Oh, someone moved. Oh, you moved. Yeah, these these guys can move. Great. <laughs> uh, you, you can't see it, but I'm actually trembling from this game. I didn't think a game like this could actually do that. In real life scenario, I'll probably be bolting out that door though. Like I wouldn't, I wouldn't be sitting around here. I'd be like making a mad dash because I've got a good, good pair of legs on me. Thank you very much. Okay, you're still there. So the aim of the game is simply to survive. Well, five nights at Freddy's. It couldn't be more simpler than that. And as soon as you see any animatronics, if you see them at your door, you want to shut that right away. Because otherwise, they will chomp your brain, your frontal lobe, you don't want that. So 1B. So you, you're just out there, you, I think they're sleepwalking or something. Maybe getting a midnight snack. I even got the fan, which I can't jam my fingers in. Let's eat. Uh, maybe another time. You want to make sure as well, obviously, you don't want to run out of power because um, bad things will happen. Uh-oh. Someone's moved. Whenever the cameras black out like that, it means someone's moved. Oh, it's a bunny. Great. It's Bonnie. Bonnie and Chica are both out. Wait, did Chica move? Chica moved! Oh. The jump scares in this game are actually the worst, I reckon. How did you get down there? Can you go away? Please. So yeah, five nights of this and obviously obviously they progressively get harder and harder. Which is not good for me. This guy doesn't really move a whole lot though. So for now we only really need to worry about these two douchebags. I heard I heard footsteps. I don't know if you heard that too, but, oh. Oh, you're in the corner there. You're trying to hide from me. Oh, that is freaky. Oh my gosh. That's a freaky mug shot. With, you've got extra teeth there. Oh, you're, you're both in the corner now. Should I be shutting my doors? We've got power. Okay. I don't even know if I can even beat um, the secret knight because I've never done it but I will attempt it I know there's a strategy for it at least ah! okay we're not at the door yet I don't think no we're cool you're cool we all have a good time see in the oh, it's in the closet what are you doing you creep Uh, the only only good thing about this office is the fan and the boopy nose. It's the only good thing. Okay, sh should I just shut the doors? Because we have the power to spare, don't we? It does run out very fast. But I think we can survive. We're already at 5am. Speak of the devil? So that was just the first night. But it does get... A lot harder. Oh, you're already out. Okay. What do you got to say, Scott? Hello. Hello. Well, if you're hearing this and you made it to day two, uh, congrats. I, I won't talk quite as long this time since Freddy and his friends tend to become more active as the week progresses. Uh, it might be a good idea to peek at those cameras while I talk just to make sure everyone's in their proper place. Yeah, already ahead of you. Uh, interestingly enough, Freddy himself doesn't come off stage very often. No, he doesn't. I've heard he becomes a lot more active in the dark, though. So, hey, I guess that's one more reason not to run out of power, oh. right? Oh. 
Okay. basically just giving us tips that I already know like turn on the lights to check if they're there uh, check on Pirate Cove because there's actually a fourth character in here who is very very nasty especially on later nights uh, so yeah that's the thing someone's uh, seriously hungry is that Chica? I think it is Recording this, uh, like getting this set up for recording was a bit of a pain as well. I had to do a lot of magic tricks to make this happen anyway. <laughs> Let's just say that. What? Where's the bunny? He's not in the office, is he? Oh no, he's there. Jeez. I really wish I could see what was going on. Or do, do I want to? <laughs> do I want to see them move around and be freaky? Oh, why are you looking at me? Wait. Oh, sometimes uh, something changes in there. Okay. You know, there's also actually a fifth little uh, secret character. He's more of an Easter egg. But I've never managed to be able to get him. I think it's very, very rare. I know I've seen like Markiplier get it, but I've never managed to get it either. Okay. Chica's still in the kitchen. Man, you are hungry tonight. He's still there. He's probably going to make his uh, first appearance at my door, though. I'm surprised no one actually showed up at my doors last night. That was a miracle. Oh, where is he? Yeah, going to check. As long as you check... Ah! As long as you check the cameras, everything will be okay. That still scares me. He's right there. Oh, that, that shot of him with the sound is terrifying, by the way. Oh, he's gone. Okay, he's gone, because you don't see a, a shadow. With the other uh, monster, it's it's more obvious, like the one that appears on the right. But Oh, you're looking at me. Oh, you, you were looking at me just a second ago. I didn't like that. Endoskeletons are not meant to move. In fact... Nobody here is meant to move. I can't even move. Uh, make me feel better. Oh my god, I'm shaking the whole time. I can't stop. It's too terrifying. Did anyone else feel like this on their first playthrough back in the day? Oh boy. So let me know if you want to see more Five Nights at Freddy's games. I know the second game came out in November. I'm pretty sure it was November. But I might even play that uh, when the time comes. Oh, you're there again. You didn't scare me as much that time. Okay. You still haven't left. Yeah. That fourth character that I keep looking... I keep looking at his little area here. That's his crib. I don't know if he likes that or not. Or maybe he's jealous of the other three for getting all the attention. <laughs> But uh, this fourth one was all, always my favourite. I just really like the design. I think think he's awesome. However, his um, mechanics and stuff in game make it quite challenging, especially on later nights. Oh, we're only at 3 a.m. I've only got 40% of power. We're only halfway there. Did I mention we have to survive till 6 a.m.? I've actually seen some people do um, do this in real time, where they actually do, they play a night for six hours, and it's crazy. Man, I'm getting very, uh, very lucky here. So far, only Bonnie has appeared. Oh, you're, you're there now, okay. 
You're there again. Do I see something? No. Okay, you're still there. Please move. You're gonna drain all my power. I'm gonna die. Do you move? I move. Excellent. You're still there. I don't think uh, the bear, Freddy, can move yet. Oh, you're in there now. Where's the... Uh... Oh, you're left. Okay. You guys move around a lot. I don't like that. Um... Oh, man. When, when I don't know where they are, that's, that's what makes it really scary. I do not want to get a jump scare, thank you. Okay, we're at 5 a.m. We're tw 20%. Screw working here though. I would never work at this place. I don't care if you give me a million dollars. Cheapers. Why would I even want to stay two nights, let alone one? I'd be friggin' running out the door, running and screaming. Where, where's Bonnie? Where, where's Bonnie? Oh, he's there. Where's Chica? Okay, Chica's here. What about the fourth guy? Okay, you're there, and you're still there, so everyone's happy. No one wants to kill me just yet. But it will happen. Oh, oh. Oh, I think that's just a hallucination. Oh, I don't know if you guys saw that. Not nice. Not a nice one, but... Goodness gracious. I just still can't get over how scary the atmosphere is in this game. You know, this this is something I miss from the newer games, like Security Breach. There's probably like a couple of sections, I think. Like, I know, the, spoiler alert, there's one with the endoskeletons that I thought was actually really scary. But other than that, like, it, it's not really that scary, Security Breach. Like, with this game, when I play it, I feel a real sense of dread, like, oh no, oh my gosh, <laughs> it scared me a bit. Okay, third night. I'm making pretty good progress. This will probably take me a bit over an hour though, to beat. You guys want to see me attempt 420? I think, I think we'll do it. That'll be incredible if I get it on my first try with no jump scares, but we'll see how we go. Okay, Scott has got another uh, call for us. In fact, I think he calls you every night up until night five. Hello, hello. Hey, oh, you're that's great. right. Uh, most people don't last this long. I mean, you know, they usually move on to other things by now. Uh, I'm not implying that they die. That, that, that's not what I meant. Sure, uh, anyway, I believe you. I, I better not take up too much of your time. Uh, things are getting real tonight. Uh, uh, hey, listen, I, I had an idea. If you happen to get caught and want to avoid getting stuck into a Freddy suit, uh, try playing dead. You know, go limp. Then there's a chance that uh, maybe they'll think that you're an empty costume instead. Uh, then again, if they think you're an empty costume, they might try to stuff a mental skeleton into you. I wonder how that would work. Yeah, never mind. Scratch that. It's best just not to get caught. Um, okay, I'll, I'll leave you to it. See you on the flip side. Ah, uh, Scott Corfin's favourite uh, quote. See you on the flip side. Love it. That must be where it originated from. Oh, okay. So, yeah, I was going to say, I think this is the night that uh, Chica is very active at the start, and then it takes forever for these guys to come out. So I think, for now, we only need to worry about Chica yeah, I remember this. I will say my, my one... I do have a couple of criticisms of this game in particular. One is obviously it's very repetitive. And I mean, um, you can't really move. And I guess another one is that there's just so many darn clones of this game. Like, some of them are really good, don't get me wrong. I really like the joy of creation. Which I think, I think they remade that, or they made a new one just recently. So, yeah. Okay. It's still there. Or B. Or BB. Oh. Uh-oh. You're there. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm hallucinating. Snap out of it. Where are you gone already? I was quick. 
These guys move fast, don't they? What kind of juice have you been taking? Alright. Well, there might be, be a lot of parts that I cut out, because honestly, you guys are just watching me do the same exact thing, so there'll probably be different parts I cut out. Unless I find interesting stuff like that. Oh, you're out. So meet Foxy. So he's looking at me now. I think he can sometimes come out if you don't check the cameras enough. Where is Chica? Where, where, where is Chica? Where's the bird? Come on. Okay, the fact that I... Okay, she's in the kitchen. I was going to say, I couldn't see her on the cameras, and that was absolutely terrifying. We're only at 2am. Come on. Make time go faster. Okay. You're there, okay. Are you two are just like popping your heads out saying, Hello, how are you doing? You know, they're, they're waiting for the right time where I let my guard down to, to scare me. I really don't like that. Uh. <laughs> well, this game definitely has um, a good, like, a charm about it, though. Definitely have a lot of respect for Scott Corp and, you know, what he's done. Now, you guys still haven't moved good. I'm happy with that. If, if you just stayed on stage the whole game, heck, I'd be all for that. I'd be much appreciated. You guys like to stay in one spot for a long time, which is good. I want to be nice to them, because, you know, they're, they're killer robots. They're taller than me, I think. I think they're, like, really, really tall. We never had any of these robotic attractions, uh, oh gosh, at our, you know, where I'm from. We had like McDonald's maybe, but, you know, I, I know this is based on Chuck E. Cheese, which, uh, I never even knew what that was, because I'm not American. Someone's laughing! Okay, you, you're gone. Oh, Freddy's gone. That's that's the laughter. You're, you're all out. Okay. Well, that would be good for keeping the intruders away, that's for sure. I probably should use a little less power, because otherwise I'm going to run out. And they're going to gnaw on my butt. And I don't want that. They're going to stuff me into a suit. Make me a furry. Oh, I see eyes. That's definitely Freddy, all right. Okay. Celebrate. What's there to celebrate? 4 a.m. and okay, so we're making good progress. This is about what what you'd want. Oh, footsteps. Usually on these later nights, I just look at uh, where Freddy is and Foxy is. That seems like the best strat for me. Except on the final night, if you're uh, doing the hardest challenge, then there's a there's a trick to it, I think. So yeah, every time I check the cameras, I just alternate. Very easy strategy. And I guess that's my one complaint about this game. Like I was saying, is that it, it does get very repetitive. You know, you're just like constantly doing the same thing. Check the lights open up the camera, and then rinse and repeat. Yeah, my, my friend, one of my friends, I said, oh, what do you think of this game? Should I record it for the 10th anniversary? And he was like, no comment. <laughs> yeah, he really doesn't like the series. I can understand why some people don't. I'm sort of in the middle of it. Like, I definitely respect it, but I'm a little bit disappointed at what it's become, especially with, like, security breach and all that. Although Ruin, I've seen like people play Ruin and I thought that actually looks pretty decent. Looks like a pretty pretty solid game. Definitely looks better than the base game. <laughs> well, Fo oh, Foxy's out. Alright, I'm going to close that and bring him down there. 
Tell you what, if I didn't have that door closed, he uh, he would have came in and said, "Hello, oh, I hear Freddy laughing." What are you doing in the woman's restroom? Freaking pervert! There's something I don't know about here. That is actually really creepy. What if there? What if someone's actually in there? You realize how much of a creep you are doing that. Okay, you're still there, but I have the power to spare. Okay, Fo Foxy's effed off. He's back in his cove. You're gone. Yeah, it's like they can hear me through my mic or something. Oh, I know there's a game that, that actually does that. It's like the pool rooms or something. I was debating playing that, but then I saw the monster. I was like, nope. <laughs> nope, I'm not going to do that. Friggin' slug monster in, in the pool rooms. Although, if you guys want to see me do that, then I might. I might consider it. Oh. We're about halfway there now, I think. Night four. And once you get to night four, things start getting quite difficult. Well, for first time players, at least. Especially if they don't know how to deal with Freddy, I find. A lot of people would die here, and I think I died quite a lot the first time I played it. And I just remember, like, man, everyone made such a big oh, deal of this game. Hey, well, okay, let's work. listen. I think you can do it. Uh, hey, listen. I may not be around to send you a message tomorrow. Oh, I know this call. Yeah, the suits are moving. Oh boy. Um, so yeah, in case you don't know what all that was about, basically uh, was trying to hold off the animatronics and he died. How lovely is that? <laughs> Poor phone guy. So yeah, we're not going to be able to hear from him for the rest of the game now. He's gone. He's, I don't know what kind of suit he's gotten stuffed into, but yep, he's, he's gone now. Oh, I don't know where Chica was. Is Chica just having a snack? Yeah, she, she is, okay. Oh, I can hear some warbling very faintly. I think they do that on the later nights. Oh, someone's glitching out. You need to be reprogrammed, that's for sure. Into a nice, lovely bunny. You're there too. Okay, check on Freddy. Oh, I don't like it when they're right outside my door, because I know the next step they're going to take is to try and come into the office. Oh, boy. It's really hard to make good commentary in this game because, uh, I mean, what else is there to say? It's basically the same thing I'm doing over and over. I'm kind of looking forward to Five Nights at Freddy's 2, though, if I end up playing that as well. It's not my favourite in the series, but I definitely really like, like it. I don't know if I prefer this over it, though. I mean... It's a lot of uh, just doing the exact same thing. It's even worse than this, if you ask me. All you have to do is check one camera. Like, I feel like the cameras are kind of wasted in FNAF 2. I know that might be a bit of a hot take, because I know a lot of people like it. And even I kind of like it, but... Yeah, when when you have all those cameras, and you only really need, really need to check one... I don't know, and, and I know this game you really only need to check on Foxy and Freddy, but at least you can kind of like, I don't know, sometimes it's it's fun to look for them. The second game I just don't really feel like I need to look for any of the animatronics, if that makes sense. It's just like, you only need to click on one. Okay, I'm just going to alternate, oh Freddy's looking at me. 
Yes, I'm watching your show. Please be happy. It's nice that we made it through uh, to the fourth night without any trouble, really. Haven't even had, had a power outage or anything. It's great. Keep it up. I'd rather not get scared. And my face is kind of leaning in a bit towards, towards my computer, which is bad if I get a jump scare, because I'm going to get scared out of my poor little mind. But I kind of know how to play this, because I, I used to play this a lot, so... If I do get jump scared, it might be kind of funny, I guess. Oh, turn it off. Well, as long as we make it to kind of like 3 a.m. before the 50% mark, we're in pretty good shape. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh yeah, and Foxy, uh, he drains power every time he bangs at the door. It's annoying. And you guys are going to be draining my power, aren't you? Crud. Oh no, Freddy's out. Okay, let's quickly check. Okay, let's have you bang on the door. Do not open it. Alright, we're good, we're good. Well, that chewed up a lot of my power, and he's already out for a second attack. Great. Uh, Bonnie, can you go away? Oh my gosh, I think I'm going to lose this night. Sometimes you can just get really unlucky, and they just don't go away. Okay, he's gone, he's gone. Can you go? I need to really watch my doors. I'm gonna check on Freddy. Oh my goodness, go away! Yeah, this is a failure. There's no way I'm, I'm winning this. Okay, you're gone, you're gone. Why won't you leave? Oh, you are, you are pissed. Please leave. Oh, oh, you're gone. Okay, okay, you're gone. Can we can we save this? Is it possible? Okay, I'm, I'm not going to worry with uh, Freddy too much. I want to save as much power as possible. But we uh, we might die here. Oh no, I'm not. I'm not having fun. Because I know I'm probably going to get jump scared. We're not even at 5am and we only have 16% power. How the heck are we going to survive this? Okay, you're gone. Oh, if I survive this night, that will be an absolute miracle. I have to use as little power as possible, I think. I'm not going to really bother checking on 3D too much. I just really want to save my power now. Okay, I still see Foxy there. Come on, 5am, come on. Oh, he's gone. How much power is he going to take? Oh, we're dead. Well, you guys get to see the, our first jump scare, I guess. But no, there's no way I'm surviving this. <laughs> Doesn't that suck? Uh, well, here's what happens when you run out of power. I'm going to take my headphones off. I'm not dealing with the, the jump scare. Maybe if I sit still, I'll be alright. Hi there. Playing your lovely tune. I don't have to listen to your scream, though. Come on, just end it already. Just get it over with. There we go. That's his final phase. I'm gonna close my eyes because I'm 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 a wimp. Ah, uh, yeah, I heard it. <laughs> I, I took my headphones off and I could still hear the sound. I've been jump scared far too many times in this game and in the past. So I can't be bothered dealing with another jump scare today. But there you go. It gets stuffed into a suit. Oh. How horrible. Let's try that again. I think when Scott Cawthon was actually developing this game though, 
he was going to make it so he only had one life, so he had to basically get through the five nights on one try. Imagine trying to do that. Although I think I have done it before, but still. That would be very, very brutal. Especially the amount of people who, um, amount of deaths from like all the YouTubers I used to watch play this back in the day. Glad he changed it. Oh man, Freddy, you are pain doing that. I bet you all are. Why would you do that? Huh? Got some explaining to do. Anyway, I, I better check on Pirate Cove. In fact, it's probably easier if I wait till Freddy's in the dining area because the uh, distance I have to move my mouse, like to check, is a lot shorter. So that might be more efficient. So as soon as I hear him laugh, then I'll know he's in the dining area. Yep, there you go. He's, he's already there. Freddy is already. As long as I check the cameras pretty frequently, I should be okay. Because I think Foxy um, moves a lot faster or a lot quicker or something when you're not checking them at all. I just really hope that Bonnie and Chica don't come to the door when uh, I don't want them to. 1am. Okay, not bad. Someone's banging. Who the heck's banging? Is someone trying to get in? Or are they trying to get out? Dum, 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 dum. Now's not the time for humming and singing. It's my job. I do too much of that sometimes, especially when I play Sonic. That's for sure. Oh, it sounds like someone's about to uh, come. I can hear warbling. Or robotic malfunctions, that's for sure. I don't know how I'm going to do this on um, 420 mode. You're there. No thanks. Yeah, and if, if you fail to close the door in time, then uh, your button will get stuck. And once you check the cameras and flip them down again, they'll appear in your face. And it's horrifying. Ah, really don't like this. Don't tell me I'm going to fail this night again. Go away. You're eating up all my power. How is this? How am I having so much trouble on this? I remember making this like on my first try back in the day. Does Scott make this game harder or something? Not that I'm complaining because I actually like the challenge. Okay, you're, go you're gone. And stay gone. He's in the kitchen. Please stay in the kitchen. You know, have, have yourself a lovely cheese pizza or something like that. But just get out of here. Why can't they just make the doors, like, not use any power when they're closed? That just seems so illogical, especially in a place with killer robots. What, why would that be a thing? I know, I know, it's a video game. I shouldn't question it. <laughs> I'll just find that funny. Oh, great. You're there. I constantly check so many things. There's lots of, like, management stuff to do. Diddy dum, yes. Basically, want to go pretty fast with uh, checking everything, though. Oh no, he's poking his head out. That's okay. He hasn't actually attacked yet. So the first time he attacks you, I think he drains like one percent of your power. When he attacked me again, he took like uh, what seven percent, I think. Yes, it's seven percent. Oh, he's gone. Well, he's only going to drain one percent, so it's fine. Okay, you run down the hall. Okay, and once he's stopped, we should be good. And once it gets to about 4 or 5%, I'm just going to sit idle in the office, because I think you can do that, and you should be okay. Nothing can actually really hurt you. I'm going to get to about 4. Okay, Freddy's still here. One more check of Foxy. Uh, turn it off. Okay, one more check. Okay, now we just sit idle and pray. Foxy shouldn't be able to kill us. Like, usually it takes him about a minute if he's in that phase, I think. Or, or not quite a minute sometimes, but still. Okay. Come on, power 1%. We might get a power outage, but hopefully we'll have enough time to get to 6. Oh boy, oh boy. I don't like it.
Oh, right as we hit zero, we made it. <laughs> this game's not easy, I tell you. I think FNAF 2 is a lot harder than this though, but still. This isn't exactly child's play here. So, the final night. Okay. Oh, what is this? We get another call. Hmm. Might be a new person. Oh, people are looking at me. Are you all out? Great. Huh? Okay, I do not like that. I think if you reverse it, it says something. So we just got to survive one more night and then we should be good. Oh boy. I think on the later nights though, they do tend to move away from your door pretty quickly, which is a, a nice thing. The night four, man, that, that's quite a tough night. Oh, he's there. You probably survive now. No, you're still there. Oh, this is going to be cutting it close. Oh, I hear him. Oh, he's right there. That's great. Okay, I'm just going to do nothing. Please survive this. Come on, the fan's going to go off. Well, I think we're done. Yep, yet again. There we go. We survived five nights. With one death in between. That was because the robots decided to be douchebags. We only get $120 for risking our life against these four morons. Great. Mike Schmidt. Valued employee. I'm never coming back to this facility, by the way. Alright, so... Oh yeah, we have a six night, don't we? Well, let's jump in. <laughs> Yeah, you thought wrong, there's more nights, and uh, it's pretty much like the fifth night, honestly, in a lot of ways. I think it's just kind of a harder night five, with like some minor differences. So yeah, they're going to be pretty active. Make sure I watch uh, Freddy and Foxy. Make sure we don't die. They're still there. Okay, come on, come on. Yes! That's a six night beaten. Oh, Foxy was about to charge. Oh, okay, so I guess I'm gonna have to try seven. Uh, no, four, 420 mode. There we go. We get an extra 50 cents for working an extra day. Isn't that lovely? Let's set it to 202020. 20, 20. Oh no. It's gonna take a while. So there we are. They're all set at 2020-2020 20, 20, 20, 20 mode. Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, and Foxy. I've never actually passed this before. So I think there's a strategy where you just keep one of the cameras on um where is it? Like right down the bottom, cam 4B. And you just constantly check that because Freddy will pop down there and yeah, if, if Freddy's down there and you check the cameras and you're not on 4B, he will get you. And also constantly, oh boy, constantly checking the cameras uh, still Freddy, uh, Foxy should I say. So you want to constantly make sure that Freddy, hold on, I don't know if I've got, oh, he's already out, 
Okay. I'm probably not going to do a lot of talking in this. Oh, what am I doing? I need to check the cameras. Uh oh, I'm dead. Great, yep. I checked on Foxy when I was supposed to keep the camera on Freddy. Oh, this is going to be a nightmare. Um, something's happened. My game crashed. Well, that's great, isn't it? One sec. This is way too hard. How do you do this? How do people do this? Guys, I think this might be possible. This is like my 20th attempt. If I can keep Foxy at bay. I am absolutely shaking right now. Oh. I don't know what to say. I just... We're nearly there though. Okay, Chica's about to make an entrance. Okay. I'm going to shut it. One last check. Okay, Foxy's pretty far away. Oh, we might actually be able to do this. Okay, let's shut that. Wait, wait for it. Okay, let's not do anything. Let's hope and pray this works. Oh, this might be the winning attempt. Come on, please. Please. Yes! Oh, I did it! Yes! Oh... You have no idea how happy I am. And we get fired for that. Yep, you know what? I'm happy with that. I'm never coming back to this restaurant. <laughs> Tampering with the animatronics. Okay. Thanks, management. Oh. You know, for nearly 10 years I've been trying to figure out how to beat uh, 420 mode. It's making me a little bit emotional, actually getting that third and final star we have officially we fully complete Five Nights at Freddy's the original oh my gosh that took way too long I'm gonna have to edit out all those jump scares probably <laughs> I had my headphones off most of the time so I wouldn't get super scared by them but yeah hope you enjoyed thanks for watching and I'll see you in another video be sure to check out my other content which will probably be displayed somewhere up on screen and yeah have a good day bye bye